RCBS Chargemaster Supreme is the latest precision powder dispenser from RCBS. We're going to get a look at it in this video. Oh, and also RCBS's updated reloading app. Gavin Gu here from UltimateReloader.com. I've had a lot of electronic powder dispenser action on the channel lately, and we're going to build on that with this new RCBS Chargemaster Supreme. For 2021 and 2022, there's kind of three tiers in the electronic powder dispenser category from RCBS. You've got the Chargemaster Link, which we've already showed. That is at a lower price point. It's got Bluetooth connectivity. The Chargemaster Supreme is in the middle tier. It's also got Bluetooth connectivity. And then last year, you saw on the channel the Matchmaster, which has the premium functionality, 0.04 grain accuracy, Bluetooth connectivity, and some other things, the dual tubes. So, in this video, we're going to get hands-on with the Chargemaster Supreme. I'm going to show you all about it. We're going to walk through all of the features. We're going to do dispensing of multiple powders. We'll also look at the new RCBS reloading app that gives you that Bluetooth connectivity. So, without further ado, here we go. We've got the instructions. We've got, I'm guessing this is the power brick. Yep. Okay, so we've got the generic brick and we've got a variety of different adapters for different locales. There's our North America. We've got multiple in international varieties there. And then we've got, this is actually really thick plastic, nice protective layer for the contents, the unit itself. And then of course we've got the other half of the plastic packaging that protects the unit in transit. These powder dispensers are pretty sensitive, so it's really good to have that kind of protection. Let's see basically what we've got here. I've done stories on the Chargemaster Lite. In fact, I had Dueling Banjo set up with two of them running when we did some expanded 10-shot flow development. You're going to want to check that out. Okay, we've got our Calibration weights, our pan, our powder brush. Cool. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the Charge Master Supreme plugged in. I'm going to let it warm up for at least a half an hour. I always do that, regardless of what scale. And then uh, we'll take a look at how this thing works, get it connected to the app, do multiple tests. See you in a minute. So I got the Chargemaster Supreme basically put together. There's just a few things to do. You've got things like putting the platen in place, putting the pan on the platen, putting the calibration weights in their slots, the cleaning brush in its hole, and putting the powder hopper in place. I plugged the North American plug adapter onto the power brick, plugged that in, and we've got it. It's been warming up for about 20 minutes or so. Interestingly enough, it hasn't drifted at all. It still says 0.0. .0. So basically, we're ready for the calibration process, but before that, I wanted to walk through the features in the context of the entire most recent lineup of electronic powder dispensers from RCBS. So from left to right, as you're seeing it, we've got the Chargemaster Link, the Chargemaster Supreme, and the RCBS Matchmaster. I have this fancy sheet that I got from RCBS that compares the different features, capabilities, and specs. So I wanted to walk through kind of what you get with each electronic powder dispenser and kind of how they differ. So starting with the load cell capacity, we've got 2,000 grains for the Chargemaster Link. We've got 1,500 for the Chargemaster Supreme, and we've got 1,000 for the Matchmaster. Accuracy. So this is where you're going to see a big difference between these two and the Matchmaster. The Link and the Supreme have 0.1 grain accuracy, whereas the Matchmaster has a fast mode with 0.1 grain accuracy, but can go down to 0 0.04, that's right, four hundredths of a grain in the match mode. It's gonna take a little bit longer to dispense, but if you're basically loading extreme accuracy ammo, like for Bentrest or something like that, that would be a really nice feature to think about having. These two powder dispensers have 16 segment LCDs, are actually newer. The seven segment LCD is standard on the Matchmaster. We've also got a dual barrel dispenser on the Matchmaster. 
So there's kind of a, a bulk charge barrel and then a fine trickling barrel, the tubes, and that's going to increase your efficiency and speed on the Matchmaster. In terms of being able to store different charges, there's 50 charges that can be stored on the Supreme, 20 on the Matchmaster, and none on the Link. All three, as I stated, have compatibility with the iOS and Android apps that RCBS supplies. There's the RCBS Reloading app and there's the Matchmaster app. They all have Bluetooth connectivity. All these have Bluetooth hardware built in, which is uh, great. Interestingly, they're all external battery pack compatible. So if you're loading somewhere at a shooting range where you don't have powder, something like that, you're doing load development, that would be an interesting thing to look at. The RCBS Chargemaster Supreme is the only electronic powder dispenser in this lineup with a proprietary learning process. So, if I understand this correctly, this testing process runs the powder you intend to dispense through a series of tests where the powder dispenser learns exactly how much powder comes out at different rotational speeds of the dispensing tube. I also like the fact that the Chargemaster Supreme and the Matchmaster have the audible drain alarm. If you leave the drain open, it's going to warn you about that before you dump the powder in. Believe me, I've done this multiple times with multiple powder dispensers. And trust me, every time that happens, I get really, really irritated. So that audible alarm is just another smart feature to build in these powder measures. The drains are on the sides on the Charge Master Supreme and on the Link and on the Match Master, it's on the bottom. All right, back to the Charge Master Supreme. I've got the RCBS reloading app installed on my phone. I'm gonna go ahead and start that. The first time I launched it, it had me go to settings to enable new Bluetooth connections. So I've already done that. And now it says start calibrating. So I'm gonna hit the start calibrating. Connect to a device to calibrate. Would you like to connect now? Okay. Pair with new device. Search for RCBS devices. There we go. Pair. This is the first time I've done it with this particular powder measure. There we go. That sounds good. We're going to call this Charge Master Supreme 1. Save and continue. Okay. Now we can start calibrating. And we're going to take the pan off the platen. That. Okay. Zero the scale. Remove all weight, weights and press calibrate. Okay, go ahead and do that. Place a 50 gram weight. These are both 50 gram weights. I'm gonna normally I'd be wearing these gloves, but I'm gonna use them to clean off the weight because I'm using the app. Kind of hard to do. There we go. There's that. Okay, now we're gonna put the other one on for 100 grams total. Remove the weights. Okay, we're gonna take these and put them back in their slots. Haha. <laughs> and our calibration was successful. If I have the choice, I'll always choose a companion app on a mobile device as opposed to using hardware buttons on a hardware screen. This is a great way to calibrate. So next we're gonna look at dispensing two different powders. Hodgdon Varget is one of my most frequently used powders here in the shop, and therefore I use it to test powder measures, dispensers, that kind of thing. Then we're gonna follow it up with a ball powder. So my drain is definitely closed there. You see we can hear the alarm if it's not, so I like that. <laughs> we're gonna pour some in. And we're gonna need to zero the scale. That's not the right place for that. <laughs> We're going to need to zero the scale with the pan on the platen. Okay. All right, so there we are. We're zeroed out. And we should be able now to go to the dispense menu, start dispense. Okay, we're going to go with auto. Why not? And we're going to go with, let's see, 24 is going to be a standard 
grain weight for, okay, hit dispense for something like a 223. There we go. You can see here on the app, we're seeing the charge in real time. There we go. Let's do another one of those. Since we're set to auto, we don't even have to hit a button. <laughs> How nice is that? It's really quiet. Usually hear a little bit more of a twitching sound when it's doing the, the final trickle. Okay. All right, now let's go with a heavier charge weight, something more like you'd find in a 308 or a 30 out six. So this time we're going to go with manual grains. We're going to go with 48.5, let's say. Continue manual 48.5. Go ahead and dispense. So you could hear a higher speed and then a lower speed. And then now we're into the trickle mode. So on the match master, you'd have two different tubes. The bulk tube runs, throws the bulk of the charge, and then the smaller tube completes. Let's go ahead and do that again. That was 48.5. Okay, and then now we have the button here to dispense again since we're in the manual mode. So yeah, with the match master, you've got two different tubes, and here you've got multiple speeds for the same tube. So it's an optimization for a single tube. 48.3. It updates pretty much instantaneously, it looks like. Last tenth of a grain. There we go. Okay, so that's a basic demo with Varget. Next, we're gonna look at Stayball 6.5. So when I went to drain the powder, I was surprised. This thing drains fast. And sure enough, when I turned the machine back on, beep, beep, it was warning me that I had the drain open. I would have done it again. I would have dumped powder everywhere. Love that alarm feature. So we've got our 6.5 stay ball here. I'm thinking this time we're gonna go with an even lower charge and an even bigger charge. So we'll simulate kind of a pistol load, which you'd, you'd use a ball powder with pretty typically. And then we'll do maybe like a magnum level load. I have been mo loading magnum cartridges with ball powder lately and ball powders tend to, to meter really well. Okay, so we've got, when we dump the powder in a little bit of kernel overflow from the tube there. And if we want the most accurate results, we can leave this uh, windscreen on top to prevent air currents from disrupting uh, the scale. Okay, so let's go ahead and zero that out. And this time I'm gonna use the touch screen. So if we want, say like a 6.5 grain charge. We can go ahead and do that. So that started out a little bit slower. Let's see if it learned about the powder. And I'll actually, the tube probably had to finish filling up as well. Oh yeah, we gotta hit go because we're on manual. There we go. It's a pretty small charge. Okay, let's do that one more time.
6.2, so we've got 3 tenths to trickle. Okay. So we're going to do a couple things. First, I'm going to hit the mode button. And so the auto setting, we hit enter and we want to hit up to go on and then enter again. So now we're back on auto. So to flip between auto and manual, we first engage the auto setting and then we use these up and down buttons, which are zero and trickle. There's little arrows next to them to toggle that on and off. Okay, now let's pick a large charge weight, 78.3. Enter. Okay, now when we hit go, we should dispense, and then every time we put an empty pan back on the platen, it will start again. So it's trucking along. I can hear the motors on high speed. And then, yes, as we get close, here we are at 78. And it's just going to give us this last few tenths. We're going to wait for that stable. Once we hit, hit stable, it sounds the alarm. The, the alarm can be turned off, by the way. Because we're on auto, as soon as it's stable, it's going to kick off again. Last few tenths. There we go. Short stick powder demo and ball power the demo. So in my last electronic powder dispenser video, you guys asked for this comparison right here. And that's to compare the current dispenser under test to the AD FX120i. This is not a dispenser, this is a precision lab balance. It's not a scale. This is accurate to two hundredths of a grain. And what I have here is a 24 grain charge. I've got the pan zeroed here. I've got the pan zeroed here. So what we can do is we can put this charge in the pan. All the granules are there, 24.0 here and see what we get here. Oh, wow, <laughs> 24.00. That is pretty impressive, I would say. Okay, so let's go with, now let's go with 48. Okay, so I've typed in 48. Let's go ahead and dispense that charge and see how things compare. Last three tenths. With this powder, it seems to like to stop three tenths under consistently and then bring it up. Okay, so there's 48. Let's do a repeatability test here. 48.0. 48.0. Let's see what the A and D FX120i says. 47.96, so that's only four hundredths off. Okay, now the, another test here, since this balance is potentially still warming up, is let's see where our zero is at. Yeah, okay. There we go. Re-zero. Let's try that again with the same exact charge. 47.98. That is absolutely a phenomenal result for the accuracy and repeatability of the scale built into the Charge Master Supreme. So there you go, a quick tour and demo of the all new RCBS Charge Master Supreme. By the time you see this video, this electronic powder dispenser should be broadly available. It's really interesting to see this complete lineup of powder dispensers next to each other. Here's what I wanna know is what do you think of the RCBS lineup? the Charge Masters, and the Match Master. Drop a comment and we'll start a discussion. Also, 
Be sure to check out the full article. I have all of the breakdown of the different comparison of features, all the specs, and some additional information. Thank you for watching. That concludes this video, and that means it's time to wrap it up. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Also, make your voice heard. If you have something to say, please drop a comment. Make sure you're subscribed with notifications because you're not gonna wanna miss the awesome content that is coming up. And finally, flex your reloading pride. You could look great in one of these t-shirts. We've got multiple designs at the Ultimate Reloader store. I'll see you later because I'm off to go shooting.